After a two year civil rights probe into the Minneapolis Police Department, Attorney General Merrick Garland announced a pattern of discrimination. In his words, it's the kind of practices that made what happened to George Floyd possible. Fox's Madeline Rivera taking a closer look at this report. Frustrations with the Minneapolis Police Department had been boiling even before George Floyd's death in 2020, says the Justice Department. In a new scathing report, the DOJ says MPD had a years long history of violating the Constitution and federal law. The patterns and practices we observed made what happened to George Floyd possible. According to the DOJ, the Minneapolis Police Department uses excessive force, like shooting at people when there is no immediate threat. They also believe the police department discriminates against blacks and Native Americans. We found several incidents in which MPD officers were not held accountable for racist conduct until there was a public outcry. Floyd's death sparked global outrage and protests. Since then, the city of Minneapolis and the police have put in place a series of changes, including banning the use of neck restraints. Unfortunately, it took the murder of George Floyd uh, for us to be where we are today. But the report also acknowledges that the force suffers from low morale. Hundreds of officers have left since 2020, a pattern that some law enforcement experts believe will continue. These types of things tend to demoralize police and have them retreat from the active community policing that's necessary to ensure law and order for all citizens. The DOJ, the city of Minneapolis and MPD are entering a consent decree to resolve the issues with the oversight of an independent monitor. In Washington, Mallory Rivera, Fox 26 News.